Good morning, everyone. Waking up, it's Monday. Um, it was a fun weekend, I do have to say that with homecoming and everything. But fun and games, they are over. We have to focus back at school. Um, I do believe Mason has, I think, three more weeks until fall break which is the end of the semester, I think, his first semester. So grades, yeah, we need to focus in on that. Mason needs to make sure all of his work is getting completed. He's getting his grades up because report cards and all that will be out very, very soon. Um, but yeah, we are finishing up September, looking forward to October. Um, I need to look right now. I need to, first of all, drink my coffee. You guys know the deal before I can even start to think about my day and my week. But I need to look at Mason's schedule to see what practices he have this week and all that stuff. So, all right, we can do this. Oh, this is exciting. I decorated yesterday for Halloween. So I have all my, I can choose. Oh, me, it looks like Jack used one of the Halloween cups. Got a couple there. Maybe I'll use my boo cup today. But uh, happy Monday, everyone. Good morning. Ready for another week? Ace, you wanna go to school with me today? <laughs> you wanna learn? Hey, I was just telling everybody, I'm pretty sure your um, grades are about due here soon, so Not be on top kidding. of everything. Yeah. Probably a lot of schoolwork coming up the next couple weeks. Ew. <laughs> Sorry to break. Today. <laughs> Sorry to break the news. Monday blues. Monday, yeah, especially That's coming off of homecoming. Too, so hopefully not today. Hi. Oh, big oh, yawns. Big yawns. So all right, we'll have a good week. All right. Ace, where's your backpack? <laughs> we should get him a backpack. That'd be yep. cute. <laughs> Happy Monday, guys. It is bum 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 Monday night football. I'm gonna pretend like we're both in a really good mood still. Eagles are down seven nothing already. <laughs> Game literally just started. Zeke out. So that, we, I think I just secured my fantasy win with Zeke getting into the end zone. So down seven, nothing already. A lot of football left to be played. Hopefully the Eagles. Hopefully this game is fun and exciting. The Eagles can get the dub. Hopefully this guy will get to see most of the game because he's chowing down on some dinner right now. And then uh, at some point tonight, I got to get him to basketball practice, but he shouldn't be going for too long. And if the game continues the way it's going right now, he may be happy that he's going to basketball practice. To be honest with you, so. Hopefully a quick bounce back here for the Eagles, but that's what we're up to this Monday night. Bum, 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 bum. Do it, Mason. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we gotta do it just in case copyright. Bum, bum. And this is what Ace is doing. My oh, man is hyped. Woo! He's hyped for this Eagles game. Let's go, Ace. We're about to win. Told you he was hyped. Look at that football. Touchdown, Ace Beagle, Good morning, Mason. And a stretch. It's Tuesday. Should we talk about that? <laughs> Poor Jack. I came downstairs and saw the hat that he was wearing last night. Well, good thing you had to go to basketball practice last night because you didn't miss much, huh? No. No. Well, there's always another game, but I know Dad always likes to beat the Dallas Cowboys, that's for sure, right? Yeah, me too. All right, well, you have a good Tuesday. What do you got going on? I think he's got baseball practice tonight. I think he'll be home for, I'll pick him up from school and he'll be home for like an hour or two and then I think we have to bring him back up for baseball practice tonight. All right, well have a great Tuesday. Enjoy your breakfast. That's what he made today. A little cinnamon bun action. Do you guys eat breakfast? Mason does not really like to eat breakfast early in the morning and I like make sure that he may eats at least a little something um, before he has to go to school. But it's always a struggle and we're always running late, so it's normally something quick that he can eat in the car. But, all right, speaking of that, you ready? We gotta go to head out. Not so happy Tuesday. <laughs> Phillies choked game one of their series with the Braves, a pivotal series with the Braves if they wanna keep their playoff, playoff hopes alive. So game one, not so good. They battled back in the end, but it wasn't enough. So game one <laughs> goes to Atlanta. Following suit with yesterday's wonderful Monday night game, so I guess we're just continuing the bummer week. So we normally have been opening these up on the Doc Blitz channel, but I'm so backed up with editing and other stuff that I'm not gonna have time to do that. And I was afraid that maybe there's a home run challenge card in one of these boxes, and as Mason told me the other day, they're basically worthless if you don't pick them and try and get the home run. So we're gonna open these up. I'm not gonna show card by card, but if uh, Mason gets any, Bang. we'll show you guys. A couple of decent cards. We got our Orlando 
Arcia numbered out of 299. Let's see what else? We got this Griffey Chrome. We got an Otani Angels card. So nothing like special. Got a Baez home run challenge card. Yeah. Throwback. Also pulled a George Brett. Ted Williams. 70th. Little throwback to Teddy Ball game. Got a Boba Shed Future Stars, some other stuff. So cool things. not too bad. Not too bad of a pack opening. No. Hello! He was just in the uh, pantry looking for mint, and this is funny. Wait till you see this. Welcome home from school. Happy Wednesday. What the? <laughs> Have we had these ones yet? No. Oh, Ace, that's not for you. Off. Oh, so, um, so you guys know that Mason loves um, iced tea. He does like peach iced tea, so these are icebreaker mints iced tea flavored. So he always keeps mints in his backpack because you know, don't want to have bad breath. But um, so he was just, he literally just came home from school and ran out, went into the pantry, and I picked some up at Walmart today while I was shopping, picking up a. Uh, some stuff at Walmart for dinner tonight, dinner tomorrow. You guys, it is Wednesday and it's a rare off day for this kid. Like, no practice. He, Ooh, oh my right. God, you brought, um, dropped him off. Um, yeah, so he has no practice tonight, um, which is a good thing because we are so backed up on some YouTube stuff. We have some stuff that we need to unbox and film, stuff like that. So I'm glad he has an off night um, so we can get caught up on things. Did you just try it, Mace? How is it? Does it taste like iced tea? Sometimes these things are kind of weird because it's not really minty, they're more sweet, but I don't know, we'll give those a try. But anyhow, happy Wednesday. Hey, happy Wednesday. No, that's not for you, sir. Nope. Getting that homework done? What are you working on? Math. Math. Ugh. Yeah, so I thought Mason had a free night off, but he just informed me that he wants to go hitting with his friends. So I don't know when we're gonna get to filming you guys. <laughs> ah! Although one of the things that we're opening, I don't think that Mason needs to be involved. So maybe while he's hitting with his friends, Jack and I can open that. We gotta do dinner, all the things. You, there's not enough time in the day, you guys. Who agrees with me? <laughs> all right, get your homework done and then Sounds like he's going hitting with the boys. You guys, I cheated. I did not make dinner tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so Mason is back, obviously. You just saw him um, from hitting. And then Jack and I did some filming and I had no desire to cook dinner because it got really late really fast. So that's that. So tacos for the win. That's how we're gonna end our Wednesday night. Moving on to Thursday, more practices. I will cook dinner tomorrow though. I'm pretty sure I'll cook dinner tomorrow. Happy Thursday, everyone. About ready to head back to the dentist and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> you guys, if you watched last week, I got my teeth cleaned and they found a small little cavity that they want to put a filling in. And I have to drive to do that right now. <laughs> I haven't had a cavity or a filling in a long time, so it kind of stinks. Here's the poopy part. I'm gonna be driving longer than the procedure is going to take because it's such a small cavity. They said I'll probably be in and out in 15 minutes, so <clears throat> that totally stinks, but it's gotta get done. So I'm about ready to head out. Um, Jack actually got his teeth cleaned yesterday, and the first question I asked, do you have a cavity? I don't know why. I'm like, if I have one, you should have one, but he didn't. His teeth were fine. I'm telling you, I need to lay off the candy, the sweets, they get to me. <laughs> Giving me cavities. That's what I'm about ready to head out to do. Not fun, but it's part of life. Fast forward a few hours, my tooth and my numbing is all better, you guys. I felt like my face was like out to here, it was terrible. But I got dinner started now. This is probably my go-to easy, sometimes I put it on a sheet pan, but I just fried it up. I got, um, these are bourbon apple, chicken sausages holy moly i already grabbed one they're excellent i got some potatoes going in there and my green beans in here we got jack just got back from a run and then he was looking at my fantasy football you guys i definitely needed oh, some okay. advice um i had a lot of questionable a lot of guys that are hurt this week apparently so i'm like jack what do i do <laughs> i think i had like what six guys that had the q mark by yeah, it welcome to football season. <laughs> <laughs> um and then we got mason over here gonna get some homework done looks like ace needs to go out to use the restroom or go enjoy the beautiful weather it is finally you guys we can say this it's finally good weather in arizona for now anyways 
So I think we only, are we even in the 90s today? I don't think we got up to 90s, 80, like 88-ish. 88, 89 uh, maybe? It was beautiful out, but anyways. All right, and then we do have um, a package that we want to open, but Mason does have baseball um, hitting practice tonight. So depending on how fast we eat dinner, we might open it today or might have to open it tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Dinner is all cleaned up. And you guys, I actually got practice time wrong. We have an extra 30 minutes. Yes, more time on the clock. So we got this package. This company reached out to Jack and asked if we would be interested for them to send this out. Are you excited? I don't know. Yeah, I is Mason yes. excited? Jack's excited? Yes. What is it? Akaso Night Vision Binoculars. Okay. Now we can see Ace at night. So. <laughs> oh yeah. I wish we were, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can never see Ace because he's a dark dog and it's dark out there. Yeah. Yeah. Now when you go late night party, I can <laughs> find you. When that's you're so true. The corner, put so. on the night vision, look out. Uh, oh, wait, it's over here. That's so funny. That is so true. Manual focus. So the regular binoculars too in the day, but you can okay. switch over to night vision mode. Awesome. Then, uh, so I'm pretty sure I got to double check, but I think you can record too. Oh really? So like if you're at a baseball right, game or something. Are you gonna? Oops, sorry. Okay, let's get a close up. Ooh, those are fancy. Yeah, they're super nice. Ooh, look at the case. And as always, okay. links down below. That's cool. Bam. Wow. Oh. Wow. Yes. <laughs> You're like a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> Take these to a baseball game or something. Next baseball game, Mason, I'm going to sit in the outfield and ask them to turn off the lights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the? What the? So... Oh my. Oh, it's exciting. Pretty sure we gotta put some batteries in it and check it out. But yes, it's uh, some cool night vision binoculars. Like we said, links down below. We'll, uh, I'm not gonna try them out right now. Cause like we said, we got baseball practice, but we'll try them out and we can kind of show you guys down the road. So very cool. What's this, like an S? Hey, you can record it. It's like we're at a baseball card. game or something like that. That's cool. Okay. And that's to clean the lens. Clean the lens. So yeah, super and cool. That's always good. We'll have and to I read think that. This is the. This might be. A, oh, it's like a neck strap, so you can wear it around your neck. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, shout out to uh, our friends at Acaso. I think you're saying it right. So I try. I'm getting good at pronouncing <laughs> company names. Ace is like, wait, what is that? Ready? So we have. Oh, can you see Ace? Oh yes, yes, I see. Wonderful. <laughs> So, yes. um, you guys, Christmas is coming up, so this might make a nice gift um, if you have somebody that you're like, hmm, I don't know what to get them, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. links down below. You know somebody that like, hunts? Hunts, yeah. Yeah, we, I mean, we're not really into hunting, but this would be awesome if you were hunting, because like, yeah. you can kind of see everything that's moving around. Normal. If you're camping, you might not want to see it, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, still Bears. very cool to have. So, and then this is the strap, I'm assuming. Okay, so you can just... Wear it around your Wear neck. Wear it around your neck and be hands free. So you can go bat watching at night instead of bird watching. Okay. I see what you're doing there. Yep, yep. All right, Mason, you have fun at practice. Thank you. Hit some dingers, get some work in. All right, the boys are home from practice and um, trying to get some Mason, you have some explaining to do, Mr. What happened? Oh, no. no. Oh. It snapped. It snapped. Broken bat. Well, that's a big bummer. I'm standing there with a couple of dads, and we're just kind of talking, talking about the Thursday night game, all that good stuff. And then as we're sitting there, we just hear, <laughs> hear the snap. I'm like, ooh. I'm like, somebody just broke a bat. And then we were kind of talking about broken bat. I'm like, that stinks. I'm like, they're better off breaking it in the game, so at least they get all the oohs and the ahs from yeah. the parents and all that. And then around the corner comes Mason. With as holding his bat. As soon as I see him turn the corner, I go, and it was my kid. My buddy looks over and goes, ooh, so, yeah. Dang it. See it. Where's it at? Oh, yeah. oh, Snap hold right on, there. let's see. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. That bat is done -zo. So, we were thinking about doing a bat video, because you guys have been commenting a lot lately, but this is what Mason has been swinging um pretty much all summer because all the tournaments that he's been in have been wood bat tournaments you want to um, but mason gave jack a warning about a week ago he you said it's getting close he said i think i'm about ready to bust my bat well it happened tonight i was right so now we'll take it up to the cage and see if we can finish it uh well i'm not alive do you get 
You guys know what that means. So leave a comment down below. <laughs> what bat recommendations, guys? Yes, guy? I guess we're gonna have to do some shopping. Jack reminded me, he's like, wood bats are made to be broken. Absolutely. And it's like, Absolutely. more like breaking our bank account. <laughs> I'm just glad he's strong enough to break a wood bat now. <laughs> well, uh, it wood happens. Wood bats are made to be broken. So. Yeah. All right, well, I was- You put in work if you break a wood bat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so how was practice? Let's see if he can, uh, besides the broken bat, did it happen at the beginning of practice or towards the end yeah, of practice? the end. The end, okay, well, that's good. So you got a good, good hour's worth of hitting in? Yep. All right, well, that's that. All right, hit the shower. And the, th this floof is ready for bed. You ready to go night nights? Ace. Ace, you want to go night nights? Time for bed. Happy Friday, everyone. We made it to the weekend. I'm excited for that. Happy October 1st. It's officially October today. That is crazy. I, I was just telling um, Jack, October is probably my favorite part of the year because you got football going, got playoff baseball going. Um, well, not for our teams. Sorry, Jack. Phillies were so close, so close, you guys. Yeah, it's just a fun time of the year. The holidays are starting. Um, we got the holiday candle burning. Does it smell good? It smells weird. <laughs> um, Mason has a right, oh, it smells, it smells weird. <laughs> he says it smells weird. It's supposed to be apple it? something. I don't know oh, what to say. Uh, wicked apple, wicked apple, whatever that is. But anyways, Mason has a rare Friday night basketball practice tonight, so that kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Um, I'm about ready to cook some dinner so that he can eat before he heads off to practice. But before he does that, and before I make dinner, we have a package that came from Soccer Crate. I wanna say Plate Crate, but this is Soccer Crate. Um, just so you guys know, it is live now for pre-order starting October 1st today. You can pre-order your soccer crates. Links are down below. We also have a promo code BEVO10 and that'll give you $10 off your first soccer crate. I gotta get used to saying that. I almost said so, crate too. <laughs> yeah. So all of you guys soccer players out there, I know there's soccer players that watch our channel because I see your guys' comments. So if you guys have a tournament this weekend, Good luck on your soccer tournament. But this is um, this is not the, the crate, just FYI. It's just some, a couple things that they sent us to kick off the new soccer crate. And uh, you ready? Sure. What do we get? A sticker. There's a logo. Yeah, that's the cool. Soccer crate logo. That is their logo. There you go. Dun, dun, dun. We got a headband. Yeah. Yeah. Keep that sweat off while you're practicing. That's nice. A little logo right there. Mm -hmm. the soccer crate solo trainer. The soccer crate solo trainer. What do you think that is? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, is that like you know, like the volleyball thing where if you like hit it, and oh, it comes back? maybe. I think it's open that. it up. Maybe there's. I think you put a soccer ball and you kick it, and then it just comes back. All right, we got it open. Trying to see what it is here. I think that's what it is, because mm -hmm. it says. Master ball control, improved passing and shooting, uh, maximize ball touches. So I'm gonna guess this wraps around the ball. And this and then, wraps around your waist, maybe? And then you can okay. probably work and kick. Oh, that's kind of cool, yeah. When you're by yourself. Yeah. This is all shooting. new to us. <laughs> yes. All right, well, so that's just a little bit of a kickoff to get everybody excited for the new soccer crate. Yeah, yes. This is not the crate, like Chrissy said, so yeah. next month be on the lookout for those. We'll probably show you guys what the soccer crate looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is just something exciting to get the ball rolling. But links are down below. You can go check out the soccer crate um, website and all the things. And don't forget to use our promo code if you decide to get one. You guys, holidays are coming. So this makes for a great gift. On that note, I think we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Like I said, I need to make dinner, get Mason off to basketball practice. Don't forget to like this video, a comment something in the comment section. Subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.